Okay, so this tutorial is on foss shape. You can see this is foss shape black. It's 400 and they have different sizes. They have thicknesses and so the black is 400 thickness. They have a 600 and a 200 so you can imagine goes from thinner to thicker. Very, very soft. Feels a lot like felt. You see if I squeeze it and everything, it, it, it reminds me a lot of a felt-like texture, but it's a thermoplastic, so it, it's heat malleable. So I sewed this. You can sew it before you heat it. And so you can see I've sewed it all, the pattern pieces on there. And so I'm going to show you how to heat form it to the shape I want it in. And so you just take your heat gun. You can take a heat gun or a steamer. And I like my heat gun on low, not high. So I just start heating it. And so I start working my way around the edges, all of the corners, all of the pieces. And I just lightly push it, tap it, and mold it to what I want it. And I could have probably pinned this on, and I should have probably pinned it on. Um, to keep it from moving around for video purposes, but I didn't. Um, it's kind of how I roll sometimes. So anyway, you just keep going along the edges. You can see I'm just working my way down, and as I'm working my way down, I'm forming it. So I'm pushing it into, you know, the crevices of the backbone and um, the form of what I want it to retain. And so as it heats, it does shrink. It does shrink somewhat, and you can feel the texture gets a little bit harder. Um, it doesn't get hard, hard, but it's still soft, and it's still flexible, very lightweight, but um, it does retain the position as it cools off, kind of like if you've worked with Warbla or you've worked with you know, any of the other hard thermoplastics. It's kind of the same thought, but it's soft and lightweight. So this is a finished one for the other shoulder that I did. You can see I've topped it with latex product, um, and then it's still very malleable. You can bend it, but it still retains its shape, which I absolutely adore and love. And then I put it back on here. I will glue both of these pieces onto my material so it holds them on there really nice and tight. But you can see that's all there is to it, really. Um, I love it. I love fall shape. So if you're interested in it, go to Wonderflex World, check it out, look them up, try some of their products, um, let them know I referred you. Uh, also, I'm excited to use this in future pro projects that I'm going to be doing. Um, this is my first time working with it on this build. I'm loving it, absolutely. And so I'm excited to see what all I'm going to be able to do with this. So go check it out. Thank you guys for watching my video.